Hi, Blissful Aries here. If you want to learn how to make money online quick and easy, subscribe and hit the notification bell because I share with you all the tips, tricks and strategies I use to grow my full-time e-commerce business at home. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step on how you can set up your eBay store. So if you have not watched my previous video, I've made a video on why you should sell on eBay. And this is uh, part of my series on how you, make, you can make money online through eBay. So first you go to ebay.com and you come to this page. You can go to the sell button on top. go to create an account so you key in all your details Now, if you are residing in US, you can enter your address here and your contact number. But if you are not in the US, you can actually go to viabox.com and you can sign up there. So after you have signed up, you'll get an address, a US address and a contact number. So after you have input your address and your contact number, you will come back to this page and just need to scroll to the bottom and you need to contact eBay. Why I need you to do so is because as a beginner of an eBay account, you can only list 10 items. 10 items including the quantity of the items. What I need you to do now is to go to the customer service and contact them. You need to raise your seller's limits. You need to call eBay to increase the selling limit. And most of the time, they would give you either a 50 or 100 increase. So I will teach you exactly what to say. So you just need to call us, go to the account and go to start selling on eBay. And you can see there's the eBay hotline here with a pin number. This is a passcode. When you get through to the call, they will ask you for this passcode. So. They will do a little, bit, a few verification on your accounts, and they will ask you, what are you selling, and where do you source your items from. So what you need to say is, you can choose what you want to, uh, what you want to sell. For example, for me, I told the customer service that I will be selling kitchen items. And some of the items are my own items and I will ship it to the, my, my customers. And the next one is I source my kitchen supplies from a local supplier. So that's all. This eBay business model is solely targeting the US market. So... You need to let the customer service know that you are actually selling them to the US buyers, selling your items to US buyers. So now for those that are not residing in the US and you wish to do this eBay business, when you are calling the customer service to increase your seller's limit and when the customer service asks you where do you source your items from, you need to tell them this. 
I source my items locally from a local supplier and I store the items in my business partner's warehouse. This is the best answer that you can give them. And if they if they ask you, oh, where are you from? And you tell them that, oh, right now I am traveling and uh, that's why I'm calling you from, let's say, Singapore. Yeah, just be honest. Where are you at? You know, and but most important is to let the customer service know that your business is based in the US and your supplier is the local US supplier. So that's it. As simple as that. I've already given you this script to follow exactly and tell, tell this to the customer service. That's all you need to say. And most of the time, if they see that you are a totally new account, they will give you at least a 50 listing. 50 listing as a start is good enough. Yes, if you already have an eBay account and you have already been selling some items, then most probably they will increase it to 100. Along the way, they will review your account and they will automatically increase your limits. If you find yourself having not enough listings, then you can always give them a call and they will help you with this matter. So it is so simple and their customer service is impeccable. They are very good and they are very customer oriented. They welcome sellers, you know. So you don't be afraid to contact them to increase your limit and you just tell them that you have your own supplier, a local supplier, and you can tell them what you're selling and yep, and they will help you with that. Do let me know in the comments below how successful is your call. I wish to know and if you do have any questions for me regarding setting up the eBay seller's account, also do let me know in the comments below. I will try my best to answer them as soon as possible for this tutorial and good luck for the call to the customer service. If in case you didn't get what you want and you didn't get the the listing limit increased, no problem, you can call again because every time they have different type of customer service answering your call. So no problem, just wait it out. Uh, probably ju uh, a few hours later, you can try again. But based on my experience, most of the time you will get your seller's limit increase. So yeah, so good luck on that. And for the next video, I'm going to show you how you can get good rating as a start. A new eBay account doesn't have any rating yet because you have not sold anything yet. So what I will show you is really simple way that you can actually get the the rating up. For example, this one. How you can boost the confidence of the buyers are actually you need to have some ratings here first. This, these are the ratings. For, for example, this seller, Utopia Life 87, they have 542,102 good feedbacks, you know. But these good feedbacks are not just selling alone. When you buy something, you will also get ratings. So stay tuned for my next upcoming video on this eBay tutorial. I will teach you how you can easily get some ratings here, some stars here. So okay, I will see you on my next one. Bye!